What is a handover hysteresis margin in cellular communications? Well, of course, if you're a mobile terminal and you're connected to a base station, then at some point you'll move away from that base station and you'll start moving closer to another base station. And that's what we call handover. You need to hand over your signal from primarily communicating with one base station to start communicating with another base station. And of course, power is one of the most important elements in the communication link. So transmission power goes down as you move away from the base station as a function of one divided by R squared under some situations of free space communications and um, isometric antennas and so on. But let's just take it uh, as one on R squared, but it certainly goes down. And so as you're moving away from this base station, you're going to start being able to start connecting to another base station. It will be on a different frequency band. So you have to do some, first of all, searching on other frequency bands, and then you'll find that you can make a connection. And this base station will start communicating with you. And of course, this has a roll off that's like this. So you'll be starting to get closer to this one. But when do you actually decide, as you move from base station one, when do you actually decide to do the handover so that you start not just communicating on a control channel to exchange information about powers, but you actually start sending your data signal to the new base station. And this is where we use hysteresis. So in fact, you could think, well, as soon as I get a stronger signal from another base station, I should switch to that base station. But that's not a great idea in practice. And one of the reasons is that in practice, you have fading channels. So it's not as simple as this. And so as you're moving around, you might be going closer to a building or behind a building, or there might be movement that creates multipath interference and that the signal may be going up and down. So if you suddenly change when you get a higher uh, value of signal, it might be that due through time varying fading channels, it might be that that switches back to the other base station and back and forth and back and forth. And we call this a ping pong effect. So the what we do is we wait until we get an, a certain distance so that the power ratios is higher than a certain margin. And we call this a hysteresis margin because we go past that point. If we're going in this direction, we go up to a point uh, here where the signal from base station two is bigger than the signal from base station one by more than a hysteresis margin. And of course, if we're going back in the other direction, we won't switch until we get close to base station one, such that there is a hysteresis margin here where signal one is bigger than signal two by that hysteresis margin. And so this is why it's hysteresis, because in this direction, you only change here. And if you're coming back in this direction, you change over here. So just a few other things, as well as the fading channels, uh, it's important to realize that um, the cells are not circular or hexagonal, in fact, and that this is always going to be a function of the local geography in terms of the actual distance where this hysteresis uh, comes into play. You can try to predict where it comes in based on uh, measuring your channel and predicting the time variations of your channel. And by doing that, you can actually adapt the hysteresis threshold. So this value here is not necessarily set and fixed in stone. You can vary that uh, in conjunction with uh, prediction uh, and discussion on the control channels with the base station. And of course, it's important to realize that there are backhaul implications from any handover scenario because the data if you're thinking on the downlink, the data that is coming to you needs to be being sent to both base stations through the backhaul network so that you can do a smooth handover from one to the other. And at some point, you'll stop, the network will stop sending data to base station one after you've handed over uh, when it's confident that you're not going to be coming back into base station one um, and, and ping ponging. So if this has helped you to understand a bit more about the hysteresis margin, uh, give the video a thumbs up, helps others to find the video. Check out the description below. You'll find a web page with a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos.